Hi everybody and welcome back to my lab. I've uh, decided that one of my more popular videos that's been around for quite a while uh, needed a remake and that is how to how to move or remove a hole from a solid in AutoCAD. The reason I wanted to redo this video is there's no audio, there's not a lot of description and it seems to be something that people keep coming to. There seems to be a, a need for it in in the, in the YouTube market. So without further ado, um, let's get into it. Uh, but first, uh, if you if you like this video at the end, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Please comment if you like it. If you don't like it, uh, tips, uh, suggestions for videos, as well as any any wishes or desires for content. All right, and if this is the type of video that you'd like to see more of, make sure that you subscribe so that you, you can get a access to it whenever I post a new video. All right. All right, welcome back. Okay, the uh, first thing that we're going to do is I have uh, opened my AutoCAD 2020 student version. I'm using the student version because I am actually a professor at uh, our local college, in case you're not one of my students. Uh, so uh, yeah, the, the, the paid version works just the same. And um, yeah. Now, uh, if you're new to AutoCAD 2020, you'll see that it does look a little bit different than the previous versions, but in essence, everything's still going to work the same. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go in and make sure that my workspaces is, is enabled. Okay, so here we go, uh, our workspace, and we're going to go into uh, 3D Basics, okay? And I'm just going to draw a box. And let me just flip this over to an isometric view. I'm going to draw a random box here. And give it some height, say 0.5, 0.25. Perfect. And so here's my, my beautiful box. And I'm going to put a, a hole through it. So let's, uh, let's draw a cylinder on that face sure and we'll go all the way through and I will subtract that enter and I'll take away that come on there we go and if I now go to my uh, visualize I can I can see that this is um, definitely a solid with a hole in it so I'm going to assume now that this hole is the wrong size. And so how can we uh, quickly and easily uh, change it or move it? Let's, let's do move it first because that'll be, that'll be probably the easier. And so I'm going to go back to my home. I'm going to create a cylinder and I'm going to pick the center of my hole and uh, I'll pick the quadrant so that my hole is the same size and I'll pick the center at the bottom. And so why am I doing this? So that I can copy it, okay? So I'll copy that hole uh, from here to my new location. I can then use my, my uh, Boolean operations, okay? So I can union that and that and the hole's now gone. So this is how I would remove a hole. Uh, and then I could simply use the subtract tool to take this again, and I'm going to remove that. But in this case, perhaps I would like to adjust it. Maybe I want to make the radius uh, 0.075. Okay, so now I'm able to take that, that new um, that new piece of geometry and do a subtract uh, from here and here. And if I go back to visualize here, shaded with edges, uh, we should be, we should be golden. All right. So in a nutshell, 
how to how to remove it. Unfortunately, it's not like a parametric piece of software where we could go in and just remove a whole feature. Uh, we need to actually plug it, um, and and to move to move it, we would simply use that piece of geometry to create a new one, move it to its new location, or modify it. And uh, now, if you're just trying to plug something, by the way. Uh, you don't need to to get that fancy with trying to make the exact same geometry. You can actually make it uh, by by simply making up something something that'll plug the whole thing. But definitely easier if you use the existing geometry. Again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. All, all of my feedback is, is uh, constructive. So you tell me what, what I've done right, what I've done wrong. It's all fantastic. I love the, I love some feedback. And uh, do subscribe if you, if you want to see more of this content. Thanks and have a great day.